Wrapping up our 22nd season here at Sports Media at Inside the Huddle, I'm your host, Jane Slater, joined this week by Orlando Skandrick. And Orlando, the team came up short in that 24-22 loss, but valiant effort by the defense. Yeah, it was good, but I mean, it was a team loss, though. We lost it as a team, just not the offense, not the special teams, and not the defense. We all could have done something to play a little bit better, and, you know, we didn't get it done. I mean, we played hard, but playing hard and effort doesn't win football games. A lot of people um, have mixed emotions about this team coming off the third year of an 8-8 eight and eight season. What's your outlook on this team moving forward? I'm not good enough. Need to get better and just need to continue to work. And, you know, we need to put in more work, whether it's more offseason or depending on whatever. I mean, whatever it is, we need to all give a little bit more. If we can be this much better each, then we'll be a whole lot better as a team. Orlando Skandrick, always candid. We're going to wrap up this 2013 season along with Devontae Holloman next on Inside the Huddle. Sports Media, Sports Media presents Inside the Huddle. Presented by HMS Home Marketing Services. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location at the House of Blues. Sunday nights in downtown Dallas. This week's host, cornerback Orlando Skandrick. Let's go, go, go. Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Presented by HMS. And here's your host, Jane Slater. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle, presented by HMS Home Marketing Services. I'm your host, Jane Slater. Joined up here on stage for our final show here by Sports Media with Orlando Skandrick and Devontae Holloman. Guys, thanks so much for coming up here on this Monday night. Thanks for having me on, Jane. It's always thanks a pleasure. Thanks for having me as well. How are you guys? Good. I mean, I had better days, but, you know. Things happen. Talk to me about the game last night. You know, I know you and I talked about it a little bit. Devontae, we'll start with you since we've kind of chatted with Orlando about it. The defensive effort, your thoughts on it? Uh, we played pretty solid, uh, made some early mistakes, and uh, but we finished strong and, uh, you know, take back a couple of plays here and there. It could be a totally different game. For those of us that don't have the opportunity to obviously be in that locker room, with so much, you know, riding on that game, what was that locker room like? before you guys stepped out on the football field because it just, it really felt like you guys came out there motivated, ready to play, and ready to get the W. Orlando, we'll start with you. I mean, it was real relaxed. Uh, I had my music playing as normal, uh, jumping around, just just so excited that I get to do the things that I love for a living. And it's just definitely a blessing and an honor to get to play for the Dallas Cowboys and to go out to be able to play on Sunday night football f with a game that had such a great magnitude. What was it like not having Tony Romo there? I mean, we'll start with you, Devontae. Obviously, this is your first year, but being the starting quarterback, being a guy that's gotten you through 15 games, one game away, did you feel his absence, particularly because he couldn't be there on the field? Well, like when every, anybody else got hurt, like a Sean Lee, you know, the next man st uh, stepped up. And uh, Kyle did a good job. You know, he didn't try to do too much, and, you know, he didn't over, you know, over exaggerate, you know, the, the magnitude of the game or anything, but he did a good job and, uh, you know, it was business as usual for everybody. Orlando, just looking at this year, you really have stepped up. Obviously, the Cowboys gave you an extension. You're going to be here for a while. When did you really start to feel like maybe you had a voice in that locker room? You had a say about what went on in that, on that team? <laughs> when I looked around and all the guys that I came in with were gone, and I remember we would have, like, stories about, hey, remember the last time we went to the playoffs? Were you here? No. Were you here? No. And then I was like, whoa, it was only me, Demarcus, um, Tony, Jason, Miles, Doug Free, a couple of guys. I mean, I was, I'm one of the longest tenure players. But I mean, with that leadership, it's, I still got a long ways to go. Um, I'm very passionate and emotional. And sometimes, you know, my, my leadership is not the best, you know, I mean, I use him as an example. I mean, I felt really bad. I was really hard on Devontae when he came in and when he had to step up and fill Sean Lee's shoes. But to me, I don't see it as he was a rookie. I just seen it as he was there and I expected him to make those plays and I've seen him make those plays. Devontae, when they asked you to fill the role of middle linebacker, the most important spot on that 4-3 defense in Sean Lee's shoes, what was going through your head as you were basically called upon to fill that role? Well, I didn't have to do it by myself. Uh, like, I had guys like Orlando, Sean, Demarcus Ware, always just talking to me, you know, uh, encouraging me. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty tough on myself as it is, so whenever I did mess up, you know, I, I, I would get down on myself and had good guys around me to keep my head up and tell me to keep going and keep playing. So what was it like um, out at Valley Ranch today? It was, it was optimistic. You know, obviously we all know we didn't get it done and we need to be better. But I think that we, we got some 
some things accomplished this year. We found out that we have some really good young players. We found out that we have some guys that have improved a lot, and we found out that we have like a bunch of fighters on our team, guys that are fight and won't give up and under any circumstances. And I know we had a bunch of injuries, but I would hate to lean on the, the fact that we had injuries. We just didn't get it done. All right, guys, we're going to talk a little bit more with you. Let's lighten the mood up here a little bit in this next segment. Let's test your interviewing skills as you give exit interviews to the rookie. That's next on Inside the Huddle, presented by HMS Home Marketing Services. This is how you tailgate on the ranch. Jay, I appreciate the effort and all, but let me remind you how we tailgate in the city. Now let me show you how I tailgate when I go to Albertsons. When it comes time to shop for my tailgate favorites on game day, I go to my store, Albertsons. I know they have the freshest produce and serve only USDA Steakhouse Choice Beef. Get 10% off your groceries at Albertsons every Dallas Cowboy game day when you wear your Cowboys jersey. Albertsons is the official supermarket of the Dallas Cowboys. Bob Lavelle here for HMS Home Marketing Services. Today I want to talk about how you might help others get out of the rent race. You see, HMS is growing again. Go figure. In this economy, and we're still hiring. Loan officers and processors with a minimum of three years experience and sales agents. Lots of hours, hard work, but I hear the boss is a real sweetheart. Bless his heart. Put us to the test. Get out of the rent race. Call HMS. We'd like to thank our sponsors. Windrush Custom Homes is your luxury custom home builder. Whether creating a home for you or homes for superstar athletes, you will receive dedicated personal service every step of the way. Check out windrushhomes.com today. And turn your dream vehicle into a reality on wheels. Complete Customs is your one-stop shop for customizing your car or your truck. From suspension lifts and window tents to tires and audio, let this award-winning team's passion be the drive for your next project. Dirt Free Carpet, one of the world's largest independent carpet cleaning companies specializing in green cleaning with no chemical residue by utilizing their proprietary super water cleaning formula. Dirt Free Carpet does much more than just carpet cleaning. They also offer services for tile and grout, upholstery, wood floors, and air ducts. Operators standing by right now to take your calls at 1-817-DIRT-FREE with special offers just for Inside the Huddle viewers. So call now to see what special rates they have for your cleaning needs at 817-DIRT-FREE. That's 817-347-8373. Rediscover your best self. Visit Thrive where patients receive a free consultation for hormone replacement therapy, Zorona HCG diet, B12, and weight loss therapy. Conveniently located off of Oaklawn Avenue across from Equinox, visit thriveinstitute.com to learn more. Papa John's Pizza for Jerry Jones. DeMarcus. Really? Nice suit. Everybody's hungry for the Cowboys five-star combo. That's a large Papa John's pizza with up to five toppings and a two-liter for just $10.99. You seen my pizza? Nope. Mm. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. When it's time for you to get your next car, do what the pros do and call AutoFlex Leasing. Whether you choose to lease a new car or flex buy an AutoFlex lease return, you're assured of getting a great deal and the best service in the business. AutoFlex Leasing has been helping people drive the cars of their dreams without the nightmare of those high payments for more than 30 years. Call them today at 817 or 972 234 1234 or you can reach them at autoflex.com. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Jane Slater. This show presented by HMS Home Marketing Services. Joined once again by Orlando Skandrick and Devontae Holloman. All right, we got the tough questions out of the way. Time to take a break from football. How do you guys unwind? I know you aren't the guy that loves the hobbies during the season. You're all focused on the football, Orlando. Please tell me you're going to take a little bit of a break. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna, um, I want to go see... We've seen The Lone Survivor as a team. I want to go see it again. It was a, it was a good movie. 
and I want to see Mandela. I don't really know the, I mean, I kind of know the, I guess the foundation of the Nelson Mandela story, but I don't know some of all the facts and some of the little things that happened. So I want to try and see the movie. In. Uh, I'm going to take some time, uh, spend some time with my family in Charlotte, uh, probably take a trip to Orlando, uh, take my daughter to Disney World. Now, how old is your little girl now? She's about to be two in April. She is adorable, looks just like you. We've got her here, by the way. Came thank with your girlfriend. You. Thank you, thank you. You excited about some time to spend with the fam? Yeah, it's been it's been busy a couple months, really past couple years. I went straight from college football to training and then the NFL. So it's been I've been busy and uh, you know, finally get to kick back and spend some time with them. And you're gonna have your hands full. You gotta you get back to work with the twin girls. Yeah, Friday we got a date. Ah, oh, what are you doing with the little girls? <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm just so excited to see him. I haven't seen him in a second. How was Christmas? It was good. Um, you know, we worked on Christmas, but I mean, I was just thankful that I woke up and that I had a great family and great people around me. And look, you guys have gotten progressively better at this thing. I know it doesn't, it's not like it comes overnight, this whole getting up on stage and talking to the audience. But Orlando, your interviewing skills have gotten pretty solid. Time now to put the rookie on the hot seat. All right, uh, Devontae, let's just talk about your transition. Let's... I mean, you came in here, you let them all know your nickname and some of the things you did and some of the frustrations you had from till you felt like everyone was picking on you or the coaches were picking on you. Just like, I share it with some of them. Uh, uh, I started out playing safety in college and uh, came here and moved to linebacker. That was a big jump for me. Uh, things just happened faster and, you know, uh, learning on the fly, uh, learning, just listening to Sean and watching Sean and Bruce and Ernie Sims is a guy that, that really helped me out a lot. Um, you know, just dealing with, uh, he, he's been in the league for a while and uh, he talked to me about, you know, his experiences as, as a rookie and, you know, just dealing with teams and, you know, the business side and also the football side of things. So Ernie helped me out a lot in, in my transition uh, through this rookie transition. Now, you gotta tell everyone your nickname that you got at the beginning of the season. Uh, Sean, I think it was Sean Lee. Uh, I, caught the, I caught the interception and, and Sean calls me Hans Holland. And uh, it kind of stuck, and now, now the whole team calls me that. All right, so you've got to have questions for him. What other questions do you have for Orlando? Who's a player that you admired growing up or, you know, somebody that you like to watch now that you kind of emulate yourself after? Uh, growing up, I, I loved uh, the 49ers, so I watched Jerry Rice and Deion Sanders. And um, now, I mean, the guy in Seattle, Richard Sherman, he's a great friend of mine. He's younger than me. And I mean, I just like the way he goes about his business. You know, um, he shows up, he talks a lot, he says what's on his mind, and he almost talks so much he takes you out of, out of your game. And, and then if you want to go on to another sport, I mean, everybody knows I'm a huge Kobe Bryant fan, and no. I think that he's like the greatest basketball player to ever no. step foot on the floor, but, no. you know. Opinions may vary. Uh, no, I'm LeBron or Michael, that's, that's me all day. You're not a Kobe fan, yeah, huh? Not, not a Kobe fan. I, I respect him, but I'm not a fan. All right, well, you guys did a nice job. Why don't we take some audience questions here on the other side of the break. Inside the Huddle, presented by HMS Home Marketing Services. What's the attraction at Tilted Kilt Pub in Italy? It's the best-looking sports pub you've ever seen. Tilted Kilt Pub and Eatery, a cold beer never looks so good. Inside the Huddle is brought to you by Rebecca Creek Whiskey, a gold medal winning blended whiskey. Rebecca Creek Whiskey is produced and bottled in San Antonio. Alicia Trevino Uptown, powered by Century 21, provides all your real estate needs. Whether working with a million dollar deal or a first time home buyer, all clients are treated like a champion. Email Alicia at aliciatrevino.com for a free consultation. A-Vision Limousine Service, the official transportation provider for Inside the Huddle. A-Vision Limousine offers elegant limousine service at competitive prices. www.avisionlimoservice.com And Burger Girl. Burger Girl features fresh ground hand patty burgers, hand cut french fries, all washed down with an ice cold beer, or a rich and creamy milkshake. It's all about great food, great drinks, and great Burger Girl service. Check out Burger Girl in Frisco or visit theburgergirl.com. Rediscover America's favorite vacation destination, Mexico, and fall in love with the people, the culture, and oh, those beaches. Millions of Americans have experienced the magic of Mexico with Apple Vacations. For more than 40 years, Apple Vacations has provided amazing vacation values and exceptional service. See for yourself all Mexico has to offer. Mexico. 
Live it to believe it. Bob Lavelle here for Home Marketing Services. I want to thank the hundreds of people who have responded to our Bless Your Heart commercial and have begun the process of getting out of the rent race with a brand new home, fantastic mortgage, and even help with bumps and bruises on credit. For the 18 people who thought my hair was too high, can't help it, it grows. And for the 86 people who thought I used vulgarity, well, bless your heart and please accept this visual to clarify the message. Peace. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle, presented by HMS Home Marketing Services. Sports Media here once again at the House of Blues. And you know what? It's time for a little audience questions with Orlando Skandrick and Devontae Holloman. Did a great job in the last segment asking each other some questions. Got to get to know you guys a little bit better. Why don't we hear what the audience wants to know? We'll start with you. Hey, I'm Kelly Stewart, Miss Texas Teen USA 2014. And I was wondering what both of your favorite pastimes or hobbies are during the off season. Traveling and spending time with my little ones. Uh, I'll be I'll be playing a lot of video games. Uh, just got the Xbox One and uh, spending time with my family as well. Oh, look at this next guy. That would be my father, Tom Slater. What's your question? Dad. <laughs> hey, I always knew that uh, Big D stood for Big Dallas, but after last night it was defense. So thanks for you guys. You guys did a great job. My question is, Monty Kiffin's been your boss all 2013. And it's going to be a hard question, but would you make any changes for 2014? That is a step above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. He's trying to get you guys to step in dirt. Don't want to get you fired. But. That is a step above my pay grade. I'm going to play for whatever coach that they bring. But, you know, Coach Kiffin, um, in his defense, you know, he, he, he brought it every day. You know, he didn't waver. He never lost confidence. He was energetic and positive every day. Yeah, Kiffin, for, for a 73-year-old man, had the most energy. I, he probably had more energy than I did. But uh, he's, he's a good coach. You know, you can tell he knows, he knows the stuff. Just look at his track record. And, uh, you know, I hope, I hope he sticks around. All right. My name is Tasha. I'm representing Papa John's today. My question's for Orlando. Where do you get your tats done at? My tattoos? I thought you said my taxes. I like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at this guy. He's already putting in a plug. <laughs> I'm about to be like, wait a minute now. <laughs> um, no, um, it's like a collection of tattoos. I used to get them done by a guy in college, and I got them done by another guy in L.A., but I'm done with tattoos, though. Um, I'm going to keep my body kind of away from that. My name is Nick, and I was wondering, it's for a question for both of you. And I was wondering if, like, what your relationship with the whole team is outside of the field. Like, do you guys, are you hanging out with each other or mainly just your family? When we leave there, I mean, yeah, we hang out with each other sometimes, but it's not, it's kind of like school in the sense that you go home to your family. And, you know, in college a little bit, though, your team is your family because you guys are go home to the dorms or your roommates with each other. But, I mean, I, I feel like we all have a pretty good relationship with each other. We hang out all the time, uh, especially us fellow rookies. Uh, you know, we, we talk to each other because we're all going through, you know, different situations, but, you know, the same thing. And uh, we spend a lot of time together. Hey, I'm Thomas. Um, do you guys, are you guys on any social medias? Like any Twitter, Instagram? Any I'm on a little Instagram, you know, no Twitter. I haven't been able to do the, I don't like Twitter because I don't like the people can directly talk to you. You would be dangerous on Twitter. Or they I'm can, not gonna it lie. can like directly talk to you or directly talk about you and you'll this see is true. it. It can be brutal. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I have everything. Twitter, Instagram. I still keep Facebook because of my family, but that's, that's about it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. We've enjoyed having you here, Devonte and Orlando. We've had quite a few shows with you this year, and it has been entertaining to say the least. We wish you the best of luck next year. Coming up next, we're going to hear from one of our sponsors that helped keep this show going. This is Inside the Huddle, presented by HMS Home Marketing Services. Papa John's Pizza for Jerry Jones. Demarcus. Really? Nice suit. Everybody's hungry for the Cowboys five-star combo. That's a large Papa John's pizza with up to five toppings and a two-liter for just $10.99. You seen my pizza? Nope. Mm. 
Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Rediscover America's favorite vacation destination, Mexico, and fall in love with the people, the culture, and oh, those beaches. Millions of Americans have experienced the magic of Mexico with Apple Vacations. For more than 40 years, Apple Vacations has provided amazing vacation values and exceptional service. See for yourself all Mexico has to offer. Mexico, live it to believe it. When it's time for you to get your next car, do what the pros do and call AutoFlex Leasing. Whether you choose to lease a new car or flex buy an AutoFlex lease return, you're assured of getting a great deal and the best service in the business. AutoFlex Leasing has been helping people drive the cars of their dreams without the nightmare of those high payments for more than 30 years. Call them today at 817 or 972 234 1234, or you can reach them at autoflex.com. Inside the Huddle is brought to you by Floss. Visit Floss for a new experience in dentistry. Floss patients receive free teeth whitening for life, as well as modern upscale dentistry at in-network pricing. There are 11 convenient DFW offices. Visit FlossDental.com to find your neighborhood Floss. Jet Air, your preferred Coleman dealer for commercial and residential heating and air conditioning in the DFW Metroplex. Call Jet Air today at 877-JET-AIR. That's 877-538-8247. Dreamfly Productions is a full-service film and TV production company. Owner Lisa Jenkins and her Emmy Award-winning team can take care of all of your production needs, just like they do as the producers of Inside the Huddle. Dreamfly Productions, making dreams fly. Dirt Free Carpet, one of the world's largest independent carpet cleaning companies specializing in green cleaning with no chemical residue by utilizing their proprietary super water cleaning formula. Dirt Free Carpet does much more than just carpet cleaning. They also offer services for tile and grout, upholstery, wood floors, and air ducts. Operators standing by right now to take your calls at 1-817-DIRT-FREE with special offers just for Inside the Huddle viewers. So call now to see what special rates they have for your cleaning needs at 817-DIRT-FREE. That's 817-347-8373. Don't you love Albertsons and their USDA Steakhouse Choice Beef? Superior beef and perfect flavor. And did you know that Albertsons can custom cut your steak just the way you like it? Yep, I sure did. Is that your appetizer? Albertsons is the go-to place for beef, especially since they only sell the best, USDA Steakhouse Choice Beef. It's always tender and always full of flavor. Albertsons is the official supermarket of the Dallas Cowboys. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle here at House of Blues. I'm your host, Jane Slater, and look, we have enjoyed this 22nd year here at Inside the Huddle in the House of Blues. And the reason why we're able to do this is because of our sponsors. Right now, Windrush Custom Homes, Jeff and Steve joining me up here on stage. And guys, I just want to talk to you about Windrush Custom Homes and how you guys set yourself apart from other custom home builders. I think one of the most important things is that we're there every step of the way. Um, we are out there at the home watching the construction happen, going in and checking every little detail, every little step of the way. The beauty of being a, a luxury custom home builder is that we can spend that time with, with the client and the customer and, and really, when there's a problem, when there's an issue, when there's a concern, they're talking to either Steve or I and we're getting it all taken care of. We're building them exactly the home that they want exactly the way they want it done. So guys, these aren't cookie cutter homes. These are no. tailored to their needs, their wants, their dreams. We start with a blank sheet of paper and start drawing out what they want, the flow that they want, their custom home. Define the custom element to it. I mean, you guys do custom luxury homes. Is there really anything that you guys can't do? No, no, not at all. Uh, th that's the whole point. Uh, typically on your production homes, you know, they're You've got four or five designs you can pick from. But with us, we really sit down, meet with the client, kind of ask them what they like and don't like about the home they're in, what their specific needs are, what their future needs may be, and then start laying out, you know, something that fits those parameters. Usually it takes a couple of times to get it right. 
but once that happens, we, we start building it. But it, it is really done to fit that individual family or couples or you know, person's needs. What I think most people don't realize is that in a neighborhood, there might be a bunch of homes that were built from just some cookie cutter type thing. And we'll build a beautiful home in the middle of that that fits the neighborhood, that, 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 that blends totally in with the neighborhood. And yet, when you go inside it and see how the home flows and how, it, how people live in that home, it's so custom and so personal compared to just the standard punched out once. Now it does seem like you guys are intimately involved in this. When you guys are done with the house, do you still hear from some of these clients? Most of the time, yeah. We, we typically have some pretty good relationships with our clients. Um, you know, I always joke around, sometimes it can be like a bad breakup where you just don't want to talk to anybody anymore for a while, but a lot of times one of the biggest selling points that we have is we'll tell clients, hey, here's a list of the people we've built homes for call them, ask them, ask them the good, ask them the bad. And most of the time they call us right back and they say, wow, you've got a lot of happy clients out there. And that's really the whole point that we're trying to do is just build a better home, keep our people happy and go that extra mile, do whatever it takes. What's right is right. And, and that's really at the end of the day when something comes up, we do the right thing. Jeff, how did they get a hold of you? All they have to do is call us or go on our website at windrushhomes.com uh, and, and give us a call and it will ring right to either Steve or I. That's, that's, who, that's who will pick up the phone, that's who will take care of them every step of the way. Jeff, we appreciate you being here, Steve being here. I hope that you guys are sponsors next year because I love your adorable son. He is, his football IQ is really through the roof. But again, sponsors like you have really helped keep this show going. And we look forward to being back next year here. Again, 22 years of sports media. We'll be embarking on our 23rd. We want to thank Dreamfly Productions, Ray Salinas, Chris Vandeventer of Sports Media, and all of our guests this year. I mean, we've had Brandon Carr here, Jason Hatcher, Gavin Escobar, Terrence Williams. The list goes on and on. We appreciate it. We're looking forward to another year. Bob Lavelle and HMS Home Marketing Services, of course, our big sponsor. We hope to have him back as well. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to Inside the Huddle. Special edition with Jerry Jones is next. Inside the Huddle has been presented by HMS. Helping people get out of the rent race. Advanced Audio Video. Albertson's Market. Alicia Trevino. Apple Vacations. Autoplex Leasing. Burger Girl. Complete Customs. Dymaco. Dirt Free Carpet. Enchanted Rock Vodka. Floss Dental. Jet Air, Kelly Alexander Photography, Microcision, Papa John's, Rebecca Creek Whiskey, Semantic, Insight, and HP, Tilted Kilt at Stonebriar Mall, Pepsi, and 7-Eleven. Promotional consideration provided by... Video production of Inside the Huddle by Dreamfly Productions. Inside the Huddle is a Sports Media Incorporated production. Executive producers, Ray Salinas and Chris Vandeventer.